Phil, it was horrifying for them. I talked to a family in one of the top floor apartment units here, and their terrace is right above the courtyard area where one victim was found shot to death. We had to witness someone dead on the ground, brains everywhere. Shielded by a tree, this mother of two wanted us to protect her identity. Her family lives in the Addison Creek apartments, the scene of a double shooting around two this afternoon. You know, everything's taped up. Her unit was inside the crime day perimeter. She invited me in and showed me where her son usually takes out the trash. Along that path were evidence markers and a gunshot victim who didn't look much older than her son. He was just about to take out the trash, and that was scary for me because he could have got caught in that crossfire. You know, he's only 17. Children even younger than that watched from the courtyard as police tried to figure out what happened. Tonight, detectives believe the passenger in a vehicle opened fire, gunning down two men walking together. This was a vehicle that just went down the street. One victim died. The other, shot in the shoulder, is recovering. I'm scared. I really am. I'm not staying home tonight. But she says it's not the first time violent crime has hit a little too close to home. I've heard gunshots almost every night, but I never hear police. You just hear the shots. You know, I'm sure that the community in the apartments have seen things. It's imperative for them to notify the police with the information that they have, because the only way we're going to be able to keep crime out of this is if we all work together. Again, there is nobody in custody. Detectives don't have descriptions yet for the shooter, the vehicle, or the driver, and they haven't identified the two victims yet.